ACRS is here to serve the uh, communities. I've seen a lot of people change their life, change their um, behavior. When you see that glimpse and that hope in their eyes, just makes a whole lot of difference that we're really there to kind of transition and to kind of be the springboard for them. And it's just amazing to see it at 40 years um, because it's still about community, it's still about social justice, it's still about culturally competent services. ACRS started with the guidance and the leadership of Lindy Sada, who was the executive director of Harborview Community Mental Health Center, and Sue Tamita, who is also a social worker there. Dr. Sata said, well, I think, I think we have a problem. There were a number of uh, Asian American uh, clients who were coming through and coming out of Western State Hospital and there was no place for them to receive service. These were our parents and our grandparents who really had been uh, inappropriately hospitalized for decades. And Blaine Memorial Methodist Church came forward. Dr. Sada and I went and looked at the classroom and said, well, this, this'll do. And maybe people come here instead of the mental health center. So he gave me some money and said, go buy tea. And then we'll start. And that's how we started. I think we're extraordinarily lucky in Seattle. I think we sometimes take it for granted to have institutions like ACRS and ICHS. I think it's thanks to those leaders uh, decades ago who saw a need, came together as a grassroots community. Um, something like this really hadn't ever been tried before. The influx of refugees in 1975 that really was our first major funding source. We stepped up to taking on the Southeast Asian refugee influx, and that gave ACRS the ability to establish itself, get its own space, you know, recruit some staff, um, and from there we grew. We hustled for everything. Even after we moved out of Blaine, um, we were uh, in Interim's office. Uh, we were fortunate to have Bob Santos welcome us. One day, a guy named George Hom, he's the new executive director of ACRS, knocks on the door and says, Uncle Bob, um, I'm looking for a place to sit. Pretty soon, we started taking over that space. And then the interns come in, and he takes over the conference room. We would uh, provide therapy sessions in his conference room. And he took over the office, is what George did, and it was okay. It was a pretty good partnership. ACRS has always been uh, an organization that depended on the community in order to serve the community. Language translation, employment, uh, food assistance was really uh, in my latter, latter years as the director of ACRS that we expanded beyond mental health care into uh, the food bank, the elder programs. You can see the, the diversity that has developed over the years. But I think the core values are the same. And so the next 40 years are going to be holding those values, but adjusting the kinds of services so that they continue to be responsive to the changing community.